Hey guys, this is Jack's Photoshop Tots and today I'm going to show you how to make this grunge styled background. Now this is fairly simple, not too hard, um, and shouldn't take too long to make. Now to start off you're going to need to download a texture which will be in the description and once you've downloaded that texture you want to open it up into Photoshop and then we can get started. So basically just go on file, open, open mine, um, where it's in there, um, I think it's in pictures actually, ah oh, here it is, YouTube Grund. Now once you've opened it up, it should open a new thing and then you can get started. Now once you've got your texture, which this should be it, you want to hit Control Shift U. That will saturate the stuff and it will turn it black and white. Next you want to set your foreground or front, yeah, you want to set your background to F. No, sorry, not F. Um, seven two eight F ninety. Yes. Now, once you've got that, you hit OK and swap that. Make sure that's black. Zero 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 zero. Hit OK. Now you want to go into Image Adjustments and go right down to Gradient Map, and that should be fine. Now once you've got that you want to slap on your text, I think I'm going to stick with my normal text. In fact, before you, um, uh, before you want to slap on your text you want to create a new layer, fill it in black, and you want to go on to eraser 0% hardness 723 pixels and it should be the one with the 19 underneath it but when you click it it'll set it to that so you want to set it to 723 0% hardness now once you've done that you want to just set this to I believe it is overlay not overlay. Um, in fact, now keep it normal and set the opacity to seventy percent. And once you've set the opacity to seventy percent, you get your big fat eraser and just take out the middle. And when you've taken out the middle you should get a big white splodge in the middle and you'll see on the thumbnail that you'll get black corners and that should be alright depending on the size of your text now you want to create a new layer text and now you slap on your text make sure it is in white so go to your blue colour set that to white keep the other one black drag out your text box and type in your text now I'm going to keep it simple and type in Jack's Photoshop Tots now that's set it quite small so I'm just going to hmm. Don't mind me, I'm just filling around. Fifty all do, and then I'll do this. And I'm gonna resize it so it's a lot bigger. And apply. 
that'll do for me. And then if I just drag this to here. I'll make it bigger than that. Right, that's okay for me. I'm just gonna stick that in the middle. If it wants to go in the middle. And hit apply. Okay, now once you've got your text, you want to go over to blending options by right clicking the layer. Um, you want to hit drop shadow, drop shadow is good, um, and set these as your settings. So that's 93, 90, 18, 0, 5, 0, unchecked, 0. And then that should be okay. Now you want to set this to, I think it's overlay, yes it is. Now if you don't think it's standing out that much just go over to this layer bring out your eraser and just take out a bit more uh, there's not much I can do about that for me because one side's bright and one side's not so I can't really do anything about that but once you've done that you will need to no you don't need to but this this is like makes it look better if you know what I mean just create a new layer, get your rectangle tool, if it's not there just right click rectangle tool, make sure that's selected, make sure it's in black, that selected, now I'm going to drag mine under my text, but it depends on where you want it really, so that's one box, and now you want to create a new layer, and drag another box, so I'm just going to drag mine over the PS and they should be filled in black so if they're not just go ahead and fill ah it's because the fill is on 0% so I'm full um, so I'm just going to delete that and retry New layer, shape, underneath. Now, you want to make sure the fill's on 100% for now, just for now, and then later we'll change that. Now you want to go over to blending options on your first layer, and set these as your options. 100%, 90, 1, 36. In fact, scroll that what I just said. Um, you want 90 degrees there. Uncheck you, uh, use global light. But you'll notice that when you uncheck it, it'll change to 120 degrees. So just set it to 90. 100% opacity, multiply, distance 4, spread 36, size 46, layer knocks out, drop shadow, check noise zero, anti aliased zero. Hit OK. Now once you've done that, right click the layer you've just set all them for and go over to copy layer style and go up to the top one and paste layer style. Now once you've done that you want to set fill to 0% and the same for the next layer, 0% and you'll get quite a nice effect going on there and that is it for today and I'm afraid I'll not have time for another video so you just have to wait till Thursday um, so until next time see you then